Imagine you're a Secret Service agent, and your sole single responsibility is to protect the president or his family. Can you imagine the level of pressure? Can you imagine the level of intelligence? Can you imagine the level of linguistic ability that you have? And the paralinguistic ability that you must have? You see, the way that a person says something, the words that they choose, and the tone and manner in which they deliver that message is really essential to assessing the risk. Risk management is something that all companies and all organizations actually do, predominantly at the corporate level. They will then pass it down through employee and associate training to the lower levels of the overall organizational chart. If you're not familiar with what an organizational chart is, it's basically the levels of management in a company or corporation that is usually something that serves the state or serves the city or serves the nation or perhaps an international world. If you're an Eli Lilly company out of Indianapolis, you have headquarters all over the world. You're a huge conglomerate pharmaceutical company. But if you're a smaller type of company, a mom and pop shop, you might have an org chart, but it's basically going to be the boss, his wife, if he has one, or partner, their spouse, and then a handful of employees that have different levels of capability than different levels of supervisory skill sets. 